And here we are, day 15 of this Vauxhall Vivaro camper van conversion. And today we have light rain. Um, so, all right, so we've got all the electrics done. Uh, everything's working as it should. Uh, I've also put the lights in here. Uh, fairly straightforward, black wire, red wire, stick them in. Uh, <coughs> so next what I'm gonna do is put this side panel on and then this front panel. There's just a couple of things I need to do to them in the workshop first. Then we'll get them screwed in filled up and ready for painting. Okay, so as I say, I'm going to put a bungee cord across this opening here, um, which will just go like that, a sort of zigzag pattern. And what we want to do is just mark out where the holes for that will go. That will do there nicely. Right, so I'll actually get one, two, three, four, five, six holes in the bottom of there. And what we want is a hole in the top uh, between these two so to speak so if that is 9.5 that would be 4.75 would it I'll just make absolutely sure 47 yeah 475 so from this corner we go 475 and then we do the 9.5 I want to drill these holes out and I have these eyelets sort of thing which will go into the holes and I'll probably paint these black actually um, so we want to mark where that's going to sit and it's going to sit there and then we want to get that mark and bring it along here and then our holes will be here on this line and the idea is just to drill them out and with them drilled out and do the same with the back panel then we will fit these into the van already I have the back panel on there and that's all looking good now we're going to jump inside the van and I'm going to put this final panel on I'm pretty sure that everything's good in there we don't need to get in there for anything else at this point. So, we'll take the panel. And fit it like that. That's good. Nice fit down the side there. So, we will start. The top end here. fixed on okay I'll just show you what I've done inside that cupboard it's just a simple panel really uh, to cover up the wiring so, so that doesn't get knocked by anything which you may be putting in the cupboard and there's just four screws easily taken out so you need to change a fuse or anything like that good that's good I'm happy with that now uh, as I say I'm going to fill this up and then we're on to the next thing which is the continuation of the worktop all right so we have the worktop uh, positioned back in the van as I say we've got a facing to put on here uh, which I'll do in a moment and what I want to do is just figure out where the smev is going so I'll stick this tripod up here if I can and I believe a template came with the uh, smev uh, sink and hob so I'm going to get the template and see where it's going to best fit on this worktop this is our cardboard template. We've got the hob on this side, sink on this side. So the sink is going to hit the um, cupboard underneath there. And we'll have plenty of room above the fridge for the components from the hob. So that's looking good there. I'm just going to get the unit and make absolutely sure that we're not going to snag anything whilst we're doing this. We may have to take a little bit out of one of these cupboards. It's black dark in here. Look at that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. May have to take something out the side of these cupboards just in case, uh, just if any of the components on the SMEV snag that at all. But we'll get round to that when we have got this hole in. We'll offer it up and see what needs to happen. 
So we've got the worktop back in the workshop and the first thing I want to do is just put this edging on here. Um, I'm going to do this all the way along around the fridge. I might have those corners in and that should be looking good. Alrighty and with these various pieces cut to fit into here what I'm going to do is glue it and then knock a few brads through it just to hold it. So I'll put it up on its side. So we've got a good line of glue right the way along here. We want this to be flush with the top and as I say I'll just put a couple of brads through here just to hold it and then the glue will get it. Having got the um, side pieces on, the trim so to speak, what I'm going to do is make a mark here and make a mark there. And I want these lines just to line up with the lines, the joins on the worktop. And then that means this will be nice, sit nice and square on the worktop. So that's it there. I'm going to mark around it. The job is to cut that out. So I'm going to make a few um, holes for the jigsaw and then I'll jigsaw that whole thing out. So I've drilled numerous holes in there for the jigsaw and the idea is I'm just going to start off here and then saw the whole thing out. Here we go. Right now I want to straddle this somewhere so I can put the thing in so that we don't damage any of the components if they actually go lower than the depth of this worktop. Okay now that's pretty close. Um, it is just tight in a couple of places and I think it's the corners it looks like it's the corners so I'm going to put a mark on them and I'll take a little bit more out okay that's looking much better and that I'm seeing is looking pretty good there's also this trim that goes on it as well I'll just see how that looks that will go on there and that will bring it down flush with the worktop once that's on. Yes, very good. Next thing we want to do with this is take this back out and then sand and lacquer the worktop. Okay, so to sand this, what I've got is uh, 80 grit sandpaper and I'll just take off all of these marks, pencil marks and everything like that. And then we'll go over with a 120 and then we'll get some lacquer on here. Okay, this is all sanded up at this point. I have the lacquer here and what I'll do is get this open. I'm going to give the back of it a coat first and then I'll stand it on these blocks and do the rest of it. All right so the worktop is lacquered that's all good ready to go. I'll give that maybe three coats on top and the sides um, so it needs to dry at this point obviously not much more we can do with that today. It's starting to rain here again. Um, but there you go. So we've got all this sanded down, the um, filler has dried, sanded it all down. I'm going to give that its first coat of paint whilst the worktop is drying. And this, I'm just going to go around this with a brush and the larger surfaces I will do with the roller. And this is the same, I'm going to do this panel, this panel and then the front panel. Okay and there it is, that's that got his first coat on. Gonna have to let this dry at this point and then we'll give it another coat. And that's about it for today. Um, not much else we can get on with. We're just waiting for stuff to dry at this point. The worktop needs to dry but what I'll do I'll come down later and give that another coat of lacquer so it's ready to go uh, for the next video. So in the next video what I'm going to be doing is fitting the worktop, uh, fitting the SMEV unit getting the gas and the water and everything like that sorted out then we can get the fridge in put the drawer fronts back on and we're very close to completion at that point so i thank you very much for watching um, if you've enjoyed the video do give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see how the whole van turns out do consider subscribing to the channel in the meantime i thank you very much